Good morning, everyone. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Just like I promised uh, the last time we shared together, I said we will continue the series that we started on, Behold and Become. And I said today we will talk about how we hear, because I was saying how important it is to know exactly how you should hear whatever you hear or how you should receive through whatever senses the message is coming from it can coming from the ear and even coming even from what you see but we want to focus on what we hear right now so I would like to thank you again for turning in and thank you for those that have been subscribing we have been seeing thousands of people subscribing thank you for leaving the thumbs up likes comments and thank you so much for sharing also i saw a couple of you guys share on social media facebook twitter and instagram that's just amazing thank you so much so let's start right now jesus said take care then how you hear for to the one who has more will be given and from the one who has not, even what he thinks that he has will be taken away. This is from Luke chapter 8 verse 18. There is a way of hearing that will enrich you greatly. And there is also a way of hearing that will rob you completely. Prior to this statement, Jesus told the parable of the sower to illustrate some of the different ways of hearing he linketh the word of god to seed seed that is received in different ways and consequently produces different levels of fruitfulness now i would like you to take note that when we talk about seed here we are not just talking about the seed of the beans you can see or not these are parables that jesus used so to be straightforward jesus is talking about the word and your heart so the seed represent his word the gospel and your heart is simply the ground where the seed is planted so your heart has the ability to receive the seed or the word in different ways and However way you receive the word, that will consequently produce different level of fruitfulness. I want to link in the progression of hearing, seeing, gazing, and touching that I mentioned before, so that we can understand exactly this parable and how this can affect our life. As the sower goes out to sow, some seed falls along the way on the path. It produces no fruit. For me, this speaks of casual, carelessness hearing. Someone who is not completely focused on what is going on because he just doesn't understand what is going on. The path is not ready for the reception of the seed. And to be also clear, I will say that that is a person that has never really heard the message. That have never understood what the gospel is. Because we can say today that, you know, many people hear the word, many people hear the gospel. But it is not necessarily true. Because when you present to people today the gospel of Jesus Christ, you have the impression that they have never heard what you are talking about because people are used to you will be blessed you will be given this you will receive a house bring me this and you will receive this and do this and you will get this so we have been used to this gospel of interest where god is God is interested in something that you have and then now because he is interested in something that you have you are also interested so that becomes a partnership I bring this and you bring this I give you this and you give me that so for me when I hear that I don't consider this as the gospel because 
the gospel is not about what you can give or what God can give you. No, the gospel reveals what God has already completed in the person of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the package, the fully loaded package, including the Godhead in the package given to you. Not because of what you did, not because of how you look, not because of what you have, but simply because of his love and his eternal plan and purpose for you and for me. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to completely understand that this is very important. So when we talk about the sower, we don't just talk about those that are out there and they receive the word and then they don't go to churches. No, we talk about even those that are in churches but have no knowledge of what is going on, what has happened in Christ Jesus and what belongs to them already. Praise his name. So there is the seed that falls among the rock. There was a bit of good soil there, and so the seed does sprout. But because there is no depth, it withers quickly. Often, in the excitement of hearing this gospel, the first response is, What shall I do? How do I apply it in my life? People want to move directly from first hearing this gospel to trying to change everything around them. No, that doesn't work like that because it is vital to hear in such a way that what you hear starts changing what you see. Otherwise, the excitement might be short. It might be just for a moment. It might be just for that specific time when you are hearing it and you are so excited. Do you see that? So, the excitement shouldn't be short lived because as soon as you see a contradiction the whole experience withers again so such people are at the stage of just hearing but has not heard enough to start seeing so i will give you a testimony because um i have seen so many people i have trained a lot of leaders but when we go and then do some conference of leaders we realize that when we come one time and then we leave and then we don't do really the proper follow-up we will realize that whatever we have shared with them have been withers because as we go and then we leave them they are exposed to whatever is going on around them and they are trying to follow the trend of whatever is going on so we come with this gospel of christ and the gospel of acceptance in christ without any price to pay without any qualification and then when we leave they try to hang on one week and two weeks but at the end of the day they end up still falling in the same trap of trying to fill their churches try to do a couple things as the other ones in order to succeed and then we have realized that the gospel hasn't really touched their heart the way it's supposed to be why because they have not heard it enough that is why they cannot start seeing In each of these illustrations, there is a progression in the intensity of hearing and a consequent progression in the fruit it produces. The next example is a person who hears and having some depth, they allow the world to sink in, to change the way they see. Because of this, the seed sprouts and begins to bear fruit. Yet they allow all the seed or the words to have an equal place in their lives. This word is not yet the ultimate word in their lives. It has not captured their exclusive attention yet. Consequently, the seed is not as fruitful as it could be. You see, we have this kind of people also. We have them. So, this is another way of hearing. You hear and it starts to bear fruits. And then you hear so many other things. Like you hear Christ is in you and then you hear Christ is not in you. Until you prove 
that you love God. So you hear Christ is inside of you. And then you start enjoying his life, enjoying the relationship he has with the Father in the Holy Spirit. You just start to enjoy. And then the next day, the next preacher come, and then you jump again and say, hey, Christ is not in me. I need to give it tight. I need to give this. I need to do this. I need to do that. So you fall again in the same problem. Your heart is open, but it's open for every single thing that goes on around you. That's a big problem as well. That's another way of hearing. The fruit cannot really grow and be strong because so many things and so many informations and the influences come from everywhere. In the good soil, there are those who, hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruits with patience. This is the person who hears and embraces what they heard. This is a way of hearing that captures the person's heart. Embrace this word until you find yourself inescapably embraced by it. The soil does not have to make the seed grow. The seed sprouts and grows of its own accord. The soil simply needs to provide an environment for the seeds to remain. Jesus once said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will bear much fruit. Abide does not take much effort. It speaks more of rest than activity. It doesn't speak, try, fight, and make it happen. No, it is rest. To abide is to rest. It's to allow the other party to do it, not you. For this one, we realize that on the good soil, the only requirement is the good environment. The seed doesn't need for the soil to help it grow. And the soil doesn't need to be from a specific race, a specific country, a specific size or I don't know what, but the seed does not need anything else than a good environment. And what is a good environment? It's an environment where you don't allow other things to come and then you open to this gospel, you open to this gospel, you open to this gospel, you open to, this, like you open to every idea from every single person as we talked yesterday about the translation the revelation does not come from the translation you read because the holy spirit is the only one who reveals christ inside of you and reveal you that you have been placed in christ this is the work of the holy spirit so when you open to all those ideas of different people your favorite preacher your favorite pastor all of that influences something inside of you you become confused because the fruit has been planted inside of you the seed is inside of you the gospel is inside of you but you are open to so many ideas so many theories so many doctrines and that will not help you so my message this morning is to tell you do not be open to every single seed you don't need everyone you don't need you don't need every kind of seed you need the one that the spirit already placed inside of you and that seed doesn't need to be placed by someone it, it doesn't come from the outside and then no 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 i'm not talking about something coming from the outside yes you hear the word of christ yes you hear the gospel but that gospel does not mean that you are receiving new seeds all the time i want to make this clear you are not receiving seeds every single day like all the time no what we do or what you are doing right now listening to me you are simply allowing yourself to discover the seed that already is planted inside of you that seed is alive in you it speaks to you it is right inside of you the gospel is walking breathing living in you already a minister of the gospel unveil to you what is inside of you he revealed to you that it is already in. It's not outside. It is in. 
so whatever i am doing or many of my friends whatever we are doing is not to give you something that we are trying to introduce in you no we are trying to trigger your thoughts to realize god's ultimate thought about you and that is not something new that is not something of today it has already happened it is inside of you so the way you hear matters a lot be the good soil be faithful to whatever speaks jesus christ and him only do not try to make it right do not try to make it grow do not try to make it perfect do not try to make it looks nice that's not your job just allow the good environment that's all praise his name thank you again for tuning in and thank you for listening to this message we invite you if you are not subscribe yet to subscribe and to leave a message and to leave a comment we appreciate you and we love you give us a comment and let us know what what you would like us to know about you and you can check our website www.christinallnation.org sorry and we will get back to you and we will really enjoy to connect with you personally thank you so much and you are blessed in him courage shalom